Yeah, and it's a tough old day at the office, but you've come away with three points, valuable points at the end of it. Yeah, you know, we had to work uh, pretty hard to get ourselves in a, in a decent position at the end. Um, and, you know, a kick could have won it. Um, but ultimately, we don't, we don't want it to come down to that. Um, you know, we gave away some soft points, really. Um, you know, something that really kind of stunted the momentum of the game. Um, and it's happened for a few weeks now. We're, we're letting teams build pressure um, and kind of giving away scores that, that are really, really hurting us, and especially the scoreboard. Um, we're always kind of chasing. But, you know, we, we showed some decent character at the end to pull it back, um, two scores down. And we just did the simple things well and such our jobs. Rob's talked about the team are spluttering to, in that effect. Uh, it's not going to take a huge amount to get it firing on all cylinders, but as players, you th I think you know where you're going wrong a little bit. Yeah, certainly. You know, it's a big thing of focus, and as I just alluded to, then the, the kind of the small patches that were putting a stick in the spokes and kind of falling off a bike quite, quite a few times within a game. Um, if we can kind of nullify those and. Again, just, just stick to doing the simple things. Um, when we do that and do the job well that's you know, right in front of us, that's when we can start to get our tails up and build our own momentum. But you know, so far we're, we're kind of making a, a simple error that we really shouldn't be making it. Kind of they're adding up and giving the opposition good quality ball to attack from. What's it with games with you and Gloucester? It's always nip and tuck, literally a point in it or, or whatever. Uh, it's never easy. No, they always do seem to be very close. Um, you know, every game I've certainly played in. They have always been uh, tight ones down here at Sandy Park, um, you know, and that's credit for Gloucester to, for attacking the game. But again, something that we really want to keep doing is kind of keep them out of the game, regardless of who we're playing. It's, it's very much the focus needs to be on us and what we can bring to the performance. When you look at results from last season, you're not a million miles off the pointage you got from that last year. So there's plenty to build on after this European break bath. But next up, Claremont, and you know all about them. Certainly, so you know, this time last year, I think we were a few points ahead. Um, the only real difference being that we weren't conceding as, as softer tries. Uh, our defence stood up slightly better. But away from it, you know, we're, we're going into a European competition now. Um, it, it, can be, it can be very exciting going into a kind of different kind of structure of competition. And, you know, playing climb on at home, it's a pretty, pretty big game. I was going to say, French Challenge offers something totally different again, but so does Europe, doesn't it? It's something that you can refocus your mind on something a bit different. Yeah, certainly, you know, very passionate competition. Um, French teams, you know, they, they love playing on the big stage. Um, you know, we, we had the better from here last year, but that's because, you know, we, we really made, made it about us on the day. Um, we really committed to what we were doing in front of us, and you know, it, it was a special moment, uh, special mo moment because we we really thrived on the occasion. In that last sort of ten minutes there today, we saw the crowd come into play a, a lot with the tomahawk drop flying about. But you'll need them just as much next week. Of course, you know, but we need to get them to trust us. We need we need to be going out and, and putting a performance on the pitch that that makes the crowd get excited, and we, we want to kind of build the emotion in the stadium so that the crowd have something to cheer on. Um, you know, again, it's very much getting our bits right and, and really pushing the performance. Finally, a quarter into the season now, what's the sort of quarter term report, if you put it that way? Uh, good in phases, um, but we've been lacking focus in phases. Um, you know, we just need to merge the two together and really put in a, a kind of 80 minute performance, not just good in 10 minutes, good in 15 minutes. Those switch off periods are really hurting us. Um, you know, if, if we can literally just stay on top of those, um, we'll, we'll start to be better all around.